Hi guys, we're in the studio today doing live streaming, so you'll, you'll probably see some people behind me and then I'll have class going too, but we're gonna do um, probably an intermediate, not really advanced, but going towards advanced mat work today. So all you need is two hand weights and um, if you need your water and a little bit of energy, I'm all ready to go. So we'll see you out we're on We're gonna the start mat. on your backs and we'll just start with basic pelvic curls. So just bring yourself to the mat. Oh, and make sure those heels are in line with your sit bone. So we're just gonna move through those little pelvic tilts to roll back into the mat and then to push away. So really focus on your form. Try to make sure that tailbone goes all the way back to the mat. And then make sure you're rolling back using your abs to roll into that lumbar spine. Try to get that release of the sacrum and try to warm up that lower back after sleeping if you're tight. And remember, you want to try to keep those glutes turned off. You just want to make sure that you're tilting back with your pelvis and your abs. You want to watch the glutes firing from rolling back into it. So try to keep the big, big muscles turned off. And it's just a little bit of movement through that lower back and through the pelvis to release that lower back from any tightness. And one more. All right, make sure those heels stay in line with your sit bones and those inner thighs are active. If you think of that yoga ball or yoga block in between your knees, you're going to keep your inner thighs as active as you can. You're coming all the way up onto those shoulder blades and then find that articulation back down one vertebrae at a time. So remember, you want to come all the way back to that neutral pelvis. So you want your tailbone to come all the way back to the mat. You really have to hollow out your core, scoop your belly to round and lift up as high as you can. And then finding that articulation back to the mat so inhale, scoop, round and lift, pushing through those heels, getting high up on those shoulder blades. Hold all that weight in those hamstrings as you bring it back down one vertebrae at a time. And one more, inhale, scoop. You want to think of those knees going over your big toes, so you should get that length in the top of the thigh and that reach out of those hip flexors. Use your breath to bring you back to the mat. All right, make sure that tailbone stays to the mat. You're gonna bring those legs up at tabletop or 90 degrees. And think of hinging out of your hip flexor, out of your pelvic floor. So the stability in your pelvis is gonna drop that leg and your pelvic floor is gonna bring it back up. So you should think of squeezing your transverse muscle or your TA and tucking it underneath your rib cage. So you should have that flattening of those lower abs and that squeeze of the lower abs to bring your leg back up. If you want to challenge yourself, you can start to switch midair. Just make sure you keep that control from your core. Three, two, one more. Okay, all right. Both feet to the mat. You're going to interlace your fingers. And remember, going out of the knotty part of your neck, just let your head cradle into your hands. Just lift your chest into flexion. Have that control as you round it back. So you've got your exhale to lift and that inhale back. So again, watch the pull on the neck. You want to let your head cradle into your hands. It should feel heavy. Elbows stay wide so that you don't pull forward on the neck. Tuck your chin to your chest. Hold that lemon. Keep that stability and that length through the back of the neck. And then just watch the tucking back of your lower back into the mat again too. So you want to keep that neutral pelvis. Last one. Exhale to lift. And back. All right, we're going into that rotation. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. If you can stay lifted through the whole way, stay lifted is gonna make you have to work harder into that abdominal wall. If you need to lay back and reset, it's fine too. Just watch the popping in the middle. You wanna close down that abdominal wall, close down your rib cage, and zip up a pair of jeans that don't fit. Exhale to your rotation, up over the knee, back to center, exhale over and center. One more. Coming all the way back to the center, just give yourself a little break for a second. Legs are going to come up at tabletop. Arms are coming out over your head or right from your shoulder if, it takes, if it's too much to go behind your head. Take your inhale, round and lift it up. Legs extend out if you're comfortable into that extension. Draw your knees in with your core and then round it back. So again, watch your form. Your knees should stop right at your hips. Pelvic floor does the extension of your legs and that round back. So inhale to lift, exhale, extend. Knees draw it in. Round the back with control. Okay. Closing down those lower abs, closing down that abdominal wall. You have to pull that belly button as tight to the spine as you can, lengthening out. Last one. And inhale, round and lift. Exhale, extension. Good. Knees in, and then just keep your hands right at your shin. Just bring your chest up into that flexion. Arms and legs are going to reach out long. 
circle your arms back around by your shins, get long extension, circle to pull it around. Remember again, it's those lower abs or your transverse muscles that are doing the work to reach your legs out and to bring it back. Watch that tuck back into that lower spine again. Exhale, reach. One more. Long extension. Pull it in. Stay lifted if you can. You're gonna pull that knee down. Get that hip flexor stretch. Want your knee tracking with your shoulder. So you got that exhale, exhale, and switch. Remember the chest stays lifted to get into the core a little bit more. Exhale, exhale, and switch. And switch, last one. And stay lifted if you can. We're gonna go into crisscross. Hands come back behind your head into that rotation. Other leg goes out into extension. Watch the shifting in the pelvis to get that rotation. It should come from your waistline. Exhale, reach. And rotate. Reach and rotate. Reach and rotate. Good. Keep breathing through it. Up over the knee. One more time each side. You should feel your rib cage. Bring those knees in. You're gonna drop them to one side, arms together, and just get a little release of that abdominal wall. And then switch. All right, bring your right leg to the mat. Left leg is gonna come straight up from your hip. You just wanna pull that hamstring in for a second if you're really tight. Cold weather and sleeping makes those hamstrings tighten up. So just pull it toward you for a second, try to get a little release, and then you're gonna set your pelvis. Remember your hot cup of coffee. You're gonna cross the center line of the body and then lift up out of that hip and hamstring again. So the stabilization comes from your core. You gotta reach out of the hip, out of that hamstring, if you're moving through your midsection, make your circle smaller and deepen your core a little bit more. Last two. And when we come back to the top of that circle, reverse it, pull it down, circle and lift, same thing. Long extension, reach out of your hip, out of that hamstring, engage the core. That right leg pushing to the mat is helping you stabilize. Long extension, reach and lift. Two, one more. All right, left leg to the mat, right leg comes up for that, just that stretch for a second. You get that extension through that hamstring. All right, set your pelvis, deepen your core. Remember you got that drop and lift. Reach out of your hip, out of that hamstring. Extension to reach and lengthen. Inhale for one, exhale for the next. Core stays in really tight. Smaller circles are harder to control. Last one, all the way back up to the top and then reverse it. Drive that left hamstring down. Find your control. Use your breath. And watch the rib cage, it likes to pop up. So really pull it in like you have a corset on. Exhale to blow out eight candles on the cake, last one. <laughs> and all right, right leg to the mat. Left leg is gonna come back up. You're gonna go into that hamstring pull. So bring your chest up as high as you can. Pull twice towards your forehead. Switch like a pair of scissors. Exhale, exhale, and switch, and switch, and switch. Good, long extension, drag your toes to the ceiling. Reach out of the pelvis. Make sure that core is flattening down. Two, good, last one. Okay, just roll it back and you can pull those knees in tight to the chest. All right, bring those legs back up the tabletop. You're gonna bring your hands back behind your head. All right, make sure the tailbone is to the mat. You're gonna drop the right leg down and then curl to bring it back up. That left one's gonna stay still. So just drop, curl and lift it up. You can open up at the chest if you want to take yourself back a little bit more. Just try to get that opening and that closing down the rib cage. And one more. Switching sides, tap it down, curl and lift it up. Open up if you wanna work a little bit harder, go into that rounding of the chest, squeeze to lift. Tap it down, pelvis stays stable. You gotta reach out of the pelvic floor. Last one. Left one's gonna stay up, right one's gonna reach out, same thing, pull it in and just reach open. Curl it in. Lengthen it out. Try to keep that left leg as still as you can. Reach it out. Pull it in. Last two. And one. 
Switch inside, left leg out, curl in together, knee stops at your hip. Long extension, bring it in. And watch that change in your pelvis as you get tired. You might be tucking back last two. Good. All right, knees to one side again. Release that abdominal wall. Really reach those knees to the floor. And then switch your sides. Legs drop to the side. Arms find that rotation. All right, legs are gonna go out straight. We're gonna go into those roll-ups. So if you wanna bend your knees for that modification, you can, if you wanna work harder, legs stay out straight. Arms over your head, you just gotta watch the momentum from your arms, scoop your belly into that deep C curve, up and over your toes. Watch the roll out on your ankles. Keep those inner thighs active. Wheel your pelvis underneath you as you round it back down. Inhale, scoop. Round it up and over into that stretch. Tuck it under, round it to the mat. Long extension through the body. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Hinge over, drop your head as close to your knees as you can. You want that hamstring extension and that stretch from the back of the thigh. When you're coming back down, you want to wheel your pelvis back underneath you. So really focus on your shoulders. Keep them down. If you want to put your hands out in front, like you're holding a ball or something, it might help engage the lats to so keep your shoulders out of your ears. And last one, inhale, scoop and lift. Stay up and over and just get that stretch for a second. We're gonna come back to the mat. Wheel that pelvis underneath you as you run it back down. All right, just bend your knees, grab your thighs, bring yourself up till you're sitting and you're gonna go out and hip flip apart. All right, arms are gonna go straight down in front of you. Drive those hamstrings to the mat and those toes back to your shin. Drop your head, reach your hands through your feet. Scoop your abs and grow as tall as you can. Okay. So inhale, reach it out. Okay. So inhale, reach it out. Inhale, scoop, lift and lengthen. So if you think of that wall behind you, your back should be straight. So lengthen from the crown of your head. You want to stack the vertebrae. Spine should be straight up. Good. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, scoop and lift. And grow tall, a little bit taller each time you come back in. You should feel like you're over top of those six bones. Last one. And take your hands out to the side. Rotate. Flip your back hand or reach for your baby toe. You're gonna to stall with your baby toe. Good. Come back to center. Rotate and reach. All right, so if you're tightening your hip flexors, that hinging forward should make them engage. When you add a rotation, remember it only comes from your waistline. So you gotta ground your sit bones, you gotta grow tall. The waistline does the rotation to reach up and over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rotate. Long extension over. Lift and grow tall. Again, one more time each side. Really try to hinge, bring that chest to your thighs. Rotate. And lengthen. Okay. All right, legs are gonna come together. Arms are out to the side. You're gonna rotate and pulse for two. Lift back up out of your seat. Exhale, exhale. Lift and lengthen. Watch your feet. If they shift, you're allowing your pelvis to go with you. So you gotta find that rotation just from your waistline. You gotta reach out of your hips, out of those hip flexors, really deepen your core to lengthen from the crown of your head. Reach it up, rotate, and lift. Exhale, exhale, and lift. Good, long extension, rotation, lift and grow tall, last one. Rotate, rotate, and center. Right. Just go into butterfly stretch, stretch it out for a second. All right, modification is to keep your knees bent. Fingertips are gonna go towards you, so you're gonna end up pushing through your shoulders and your lap. The harder way is to keep your legs out straight, so either way is right, just go where you feel better in the shoulder. Lift into that extension, and then you're just gonna tap your bottom. If you want the modification, it's just like you're gonna go into a table position, and then tap it down. So you wanna get full extension, you should feel that widening across the collarbone. Watch the hyperextension in the elbow. Reach and lift, tap it down, full extension to lift and reach. Good. One more. If you're tight in the shoulders, try to draw those shoulder blades down and reach as you push. Good. Tail on taps and then just hinge it forward if you need to roll your wrist, you can. Extension to lift and reach. 
Good. One more. If you're tight in the shoulders, try to draw those shoulder blades down and reach as you push. Good. Tail on taps, and then just hinge it forward if you need to roll your wrist, you can. All right, we're going to come back down to the mat. So roll yourself down. You can grab your shins or your thighs to bring you back down. All right, make sure those heels line right back up with your sit bone into that shoulder bridge again. So let's just go up for two or three to try to reset the spine back to the mat. So you've got that inhale, scoop to lift. Remember, you want that length across the top of the thighs as you round it up. Find that articulation back down. All right, let's go back up one more time. Really scoop and hollow out your belly. If you want to put your finger there in your belly button, you can feel yourself kind of scoop it out. All right, all the way back up. You're going to push through your left foot. Right leg is going to come up long out of that hamstring. You're going to point down, flex up. Make sure the left and the right hip are even. If you got to put your hands there to kind of give you some support for a little bit, you can. Long extension, point down, flex it up. Two, good, and one. All right, stay right off of your hip, point your toe or flex wherever you feel like you get into that hamstring a little bit more. Drop your bottom to the mat, fire the left hamstring to lift you up. So you gotta make sure that heel's in line with your sit bone. Push all the way through that heel to help you lift your body weight up off the floor. Exhale to lift, and lower. Lift, and lower, one more. Good. Plant your right foot. Make sure that you're still up on your pelvis off of the floor. Push to the right side. Stay up high. Left leg comes up. You're going to point it down and flex. Point and flex. Good. Check your alignment. Make sure that left hip isn't dropping to the mat. It's going to try to help out that right hip or hamstring. Long extension. Reach it up. One more. Straight off your hip. Tap your pelvis or bottom to the mat. Push to that right hamstring straight up. Try to get that extension out of that left leg. Try to get straight off your hip. And then just watch the dropping on that left side. As that right hamstring gets tired, the left side's gonna help out. Last one. Good. Stay up high on those shoulder blades. Left foot comes to the mat and then roll through it all the way back to that neutral pelvis. We're gonna go back up, so really scoop. Lift your body weight up as high as you can and reach your fingertips for your toes. You got abduction, abduction. So two inches in, two inches out, small range of motion. If you think of that ball between your knees, don't drop your ball. So inner thigh, a lot of pelvic floor, real small movement. Watch the dropping out. If you feel like you're getting into your glutes, usually dropping your legs out too far. All right, all right, we're picking up the pace. Like your squeeze a little bit smaller. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Round it all the way to the mat. Good. All right, legs at tabletop. We're going to go into coordination. So just like the hundred prep, when you round yourself up, you're just going to add the open close. Legs extend out, open close, knees in, and round it back. So inhale, lift, exhale, extend. Open close, knees in, round it back. So really try to find that opening from your inner thigh and your outer hip. Watch the change in the pelvis. Tailbone stays down. And inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Open, close. Knees in. Last one, round it up. Take it out. Inner thigh, outer hip, bring it back. <clears throat> and then just bring those knees into the chest for a second. We're gonna go into teaser. You can keep your feet to the mat for a modification. Keep them up at tabletop if you wanna work a little bit harder. Arms overhead, you can stay in both position too. So if you round up, you can find your balance. I'm losing my voice. Full extension out if you want, and then round it back and reach it back. <clears throat> so you gotta really scoop your abs to round you up. Watch the momentum from your legs or your arms helping you lift. Find that control to round you back. So you gotta really, really deepen Find a bounce first before you lengthen, and then round it back. So now you can use a modification of putting your feet up once you get up there. Reach it into that extension, get round it back. All right, last one, inhale, scoop. Round and reach. Good, and up. Get a little quick squeeze of knees to release that abdominal wall. Feet are gonna into that extension, get round it back. 
Right, last one, inhale, scoop. Round and repeat. Good, and back. Get a little quick squeeze of knees to release that abdominal wall. Feet are gonna come to the mat and then just grab your hand weights. All right, reset your pelvis so that you are stable with your core. And you should be able to have that two finger space between your mat and your back. All right, keep a little soft bend in your elbows. You're just gonna tap them to the mat and it's gonna come right across your chest. So think of that big tree that you're trying to hug. Initiate from your chest to pull around, but when you drop those elbows back, you should kind of feel a little bit of that squeeze of the scapula. If you're tight in your upper back, you should feel that opening and that closing of the chest. Remember, check your bellies, check your rib cage. Use that breath to exhale across the chest. Keep the balls together. Drop them behind your head. Full extension up, resistance back down. Exhale to full extension. Just make sure you hang on to the balls. You just want to drop your elbows. So it's going into that tricep press. Reach and push. Try to keep your elbows right over your eyes if you can or right at your mouth. Make that extension come from the back of the arm and then that control to drop it right behind your head. Last one. And all right, arms are gonna come out straight. You probably wanna keep those elbows a little soft just if you hyperextend. If you think of having two symbols in your hands, you're gonna pull together and then wide again, long through the chest. Use your core to pull those arms together. Close down that rib cage. Inhale to open up. And really get into that chest again. Squeeze the pull across. One more. All right, scapular retraction. It doesn't feel like you're doing very much, but if you think of someone grabbing your wrist and kind of reaching your shoulders off the mat, and then you're gonna depress or push them back into the mat so you get that widening of the collarbone and that squeeze again of the scapula. So it's a reach out and then let gravity push those shoulder blades back down into the mat. So again, check your form. Don't let yourself roll back to get into it. Just opening and closing of the scapula, the widening across the collarbone. <laughs> yeah, one more. All right, if you have any shoulder impingements, don't drop your arm all the way behind your head. You can stop right at your shoulder. Reach out, and they're gonna switch kind of simultaneously as you reach it over. Long extension again, you want that gliding on the shoulder girdle or the lats are doing the work. So again, think of that lemon on your armpit. As you pull your arm, you're gonna squeeze that lemon. <clears throat> Close down that rib cage. And one more. In the tricep press, elbows bend at 90, full extension out, bring it back in at 90. If you need to put your arms to the mat for control, you can. Full extension out, bring it in. Again, check your core, closing down those abs. Last one. Straight up from your shoulders, the same thing. You gotta depress or squeeze that scapula together. Pull straight down. You wanna keep your lat to the mat the whole time. So again, watch using the top of the shoulder Exhale to pull, resistance back up. Pull it down, stopping right at the shoulder. One more, then we're going into circles. If you drop it out to your shoulders, pull all the way to your hip, back up in line with the shoulder. So again, you gotta get out of the top of that shoulder, put it into the lap, you should squeeze under the armpit. Open up, <laughs> pull it around, and bring it back up. So reach it out, squeeze the pull, and back up. Last one. All right, find your reverse. Pull it down, coming across. Step right in line with the shoulder. Reach it out, across, and up. Good, last one. All right, balls are gonna go right to the side. We're gonna flip all the way over on your belly, so just bring yourself all the way. On your belly for back extension. <clears throat> All right, arms are going to go by your sides. Make sure you tuck your hips under. You should feel your lower back engaged when you tuck your hips forward. Abs are in tight. You're just going into basic extension, so head's going to lift. You want to keep your eyes to the mat, so watch the turtling of the neck. Reach your fingertips back to your toes and then back to the mat. So you can either lift your feet if you want to get into your core a little bit more in your lower back, or you can keep your feet to the mat. Just listen to your spine. 
Only go where it wants you to go today. Remember, you want to reach the crown of your head away from you. Reach those fingertips for your toes. You want that elongation of the spine. You want to lengthen from the crown of your head. I think of someone pulling your head one way and your toes the other. Inhale, scoop and lift. All right, bring your hands out in front. You're going to push your palms to the floor. So try to lift your chest up through your palms, through your shoulder. You're just going to flutter kick like you're swimming. Just flutter, flutter, flutter. Try to get the knee up off the mat. Really engage the lats. We go down the back and engage those hamstrings. Keep those abs in tight. Three, two, and one. Stay lifted if you can. You're going to click your heels together for a heel beat. If it gets too much with that lift, you can fold your arms and drop your head down. Three, two, and one. See if you can go into a full body swim. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Watch the movement in the middle. So watch the rocking. Two, good, and one. Hold your hands down. Rest your head on top of your hands. You're going to rotate to the right. So you kind of kind of peek underneath your elbow. Like you're going to look under your elbow, come back to center, and then rotate to the right. Okay, so the object is to keep those hips tucked under. The rotation's coming from your waistline. You got to keep the shoulder blades down the back. The abs are doing the work to rotate. Those hip extensors are engaging so that lumbar spine is really tight. And you're just doing that little peek up under your arm. Tuck it under, look under. And we're gonna go one more time each side. Tuck it under and reach. Good. And to the other side. All right, into breaststroke. Keep those hips underneath you, abs in tight, so push that pubic bone or those hip bones into the back. Head comes up with your hands, reach your arms out, pull all the way to your hips, just like you're swimming in the pool, and then back all the way around. So inhale, exhale, lift, and into that extension of the chest and the back, and then bring it back from that. Remember to keep your core tight. Those lower abs connect to your lower back, so if you're getting any tightness, you gotta deepen your core and tuck under a little bit more. Reach it up, squeeze and pull. Back down and around one more. Head lifts, reach it out, pull it around, and down. Just shift your weight back into child's pose for a second. Release your lower back. We're gonna come all the way back down. Interlace your fingers and then lift your chest. You gotta get your elbows underneath your shoulders. So you shouldn't be sunk down into it. You gotta be really lifted up off the mat. So you should feel like your sternum and your lower abs are coming up, like your belly button should be floating off the mat. All right, right leg is gonna stay out straight. Try to keep that hamstring engaged so your knee stays lifted. You're gonna point, flex, point, and then extend. So point, flex, point, and reach. <clears throat> Try to keep your knee in line with your hip. You wanna keep that other leg the opposite one that you're not working. Engage the whole time too. So try to keep it engaged to keep the knee a little bit lifted off the mat. And then just watch the shoulders. Whoop, point and flex. Point, flex, point. One more time to this side. Check your form, watch sinking into it. Point, good. All right, bring yourself down. We're gonna go into Sphinx or Cobra, wherever you feel comfortable. Push through your palms. Lift yourself into that extension. Remember, your head's going to come up first on this one. All the way to the mat. If you want to go up into cobra, make sure those shoulder blades draw down the back. Your abs are in tight, and then you bring yourself back down with control. So inhale. Exhale, reach. And lift. And then back to the mat. So inhale. Scoop and lift. Reach and extend. Back down to the mat. And inhale, scoop and lift, all the way back down, last one, inhale, you're reaching into that extension, all the way back to the mat, and then going back into that child's pose again, sit deep into those hips. All right, we're coming up on all fours. Try to flatten your back. Try to get those shoulder blades in line with your wrists or your wrists in line with your shoulders. And those knees are in line with your hips. You're gonna take your right leg back, level through your pelvis so it's easy to kind of shift into your left side. Try to level through your back. You're just gonna lift and lower that right leg. So reach and tap. 
Right, so you gotta really deepen into your core. It should be flat across up the back if you're feeling like right here is getting tension. It usually means your abs aren't deepened enough. Just a little tap and then just watch the form. So watch that opening in the hip, lift and lower. All right, you're gonna bring your knee to your nose. So curl up like you're going into that cat stretch, reach it out, just watch the tossing of your leg. So don't swing it back, just extend. Bring it in, reach it up. Abs pull in really tight to bring you into that grounding. Extension to bring it up. Curl it in, reach and lengthen, bring it in. Last one. All right, take that right leg back out, tap it around the left, and then lift and lower. So you gotta again watch the shift in the pelvis. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Small range of motion, it's coming from your oblique. You gotta get her into those lower or those side ab. Reach. Cross. Check your core one more. All right, right knee down. Reset your palms. Make sure those shoulder blades are back down the back. Left leg comes out, level through your pelvis, just a little tap. Fire from your glute and the hamstring. Watch the shift of the weight into the right side. Keep your elbows soft if you hyperextend from pushing. Three, two, and end one. Draw it in, lean the nose. Full extension out. Watch again the tossing of that leg back. Keep that right hip over your right knee. So watch all that weight shifting into that right side. Curl it in, reach it out, bring it in, and reach. One more. Good, all right, take it over. Remember, you're crossing over the right side, and then little taps. So small range of motion. Really get into that left oblique. If you don't feel fire, deepen your belly a little bit more. Two. I don't know. All right. Knees come down up into that deep cat stretch. Really round up into the cat. And then exhale, sink it down. Then inhale, scoop. Round it up. Deep, deep cat stretch. Exhale as you sink. Good. Inhale, round and lift. Exhale as you sink it down. One more. All right, we're gonna go into plank. If you wanna come down on your forearms and get off your wrists, you can. If you're okay, we're just going out and holding it. So make sure you're not sunk down in the middle and you're not up real high in your bottom. You should be long from the crown of your head, really deep in the belly. You gotta pull those abs in, widen the collarbone, draw through the lats. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knee drop down back into that child's pose and get that stretch again. If you want to tuck your wrist back onto your heels or your feet, you can to try to get off the weight off of them for a second. All right, we're coming back up. Realign yourself, knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders. You're gonna take your right leg back and your left arm. It's just balance. You gotta deepen your core, you gotta level through your pelvis, draw that right shoulder blade down the back, elongate out of the spine. All right, elbow to knee again. Long extension as you reach. Again, you wanna think of someone grabbing your wrist, someone grabbing your ankle and pulling the opposite way. So bring it in, exhale, extend. Bring it in and reach. One more. Yeah. Switch inside, so make sure you go out. Find your balance first, level through your pelvis. Right arm by your right ear, left leg goes out straight and just hold. So deep in that core, really pull the belly button in tight. All right, curl it in, reach it up. Full extension, reach that leg, pull those abs in to reach it out. One more. Good. A little cat and cow again, two more just to round it up. And then exhale, sink it down. And one more, inhale, skip. And exhale back. All right, just cross your ankles. You're gonna sit, put your legs out, and then you need your hand weights again, so just grab your hand weights. Right. If it's too much on your lower back to keep your legs out straight and you feel like you kinda of sink into it, just sit Indian style and be up over your hips. Maybe you can sit out for a little while and work on your posture, even better. All right, arms are by your sides. Really grow tall from the crown of your head. 
Just a bicep curl. Remember, you want resistance and assistance. So work both sides of the muscles. Don't just drop your hands down. And try to keep working to grow tall from the crown of your head. Each time. So you want that length out of the torso. Last one. Take your arms straight out in front. Just a lift and a lower. So again, try to take it out of the top of the trap or out of the top of the shoulder and put it into your upper back. One more. And we're gonna take it out to the sides. Same thing, watch the swing up. You wanna lift. Don't let the momentum bring your arms out. Check your bellies. Exhale, lift and grow a little bit taller. One more. Hinge your body forward, try to go into that tricep extension, curl it back in, almost like you're gonna cup water towards your arm or to your shoulder, arm to your shoulder. Reach it out, curl it in. Long extension, try to go long from the back. So watch the rounding in the chest, stay long through the crown of your head. One more. Are right, you gonna open up, reverse fly. Squeeze and pinch it back, come across the chest. So stay long from the crown of your head again. Stay over those hip flexors. Exhale, squeeze and pull, bring it back. One more. All right, over your head. Extension up, bring it down. Reach and lift. One more. All right, bring your hands out in front. You're gonna rotate, just opening your rib cage like you're gonna hand the ball to somebody behind you. Come back to center. Rotate it open. So your head can go back with you, just don't take your hips. Rotate. Find that rotation. Open it up. Center. Really wide across the collarbone. Make that rib cage do that rotation. Remember your waistline draws in if you can square your hips. One more time each side. Coming back to the center, you're gonna push up and find a little extension back. When you come back up, reset back up tall. So you gotta push back, you can leave your head up to look at your hands and then bring it back up. Exhale, reach long, only go where you're comfortable, keep that lower back protected. It's a hinge out and a bring back up. Two more. That full extension. Balls to the side again, and we're just gonna flip right on your side. All right, arm out straight, or you can cradle your head if you feel better with this head cradle. All right, stack your hips. Remember, you should be able to slide your fingers between your rib cage and your mat, so you should have hips stacked on top of each other. If you wanna keep your hand on your rib cage to see if that oblique fires, you can. Both legs lift up and lower. Try to take it out of the upper body, so try not to like scrunch up into it. Check your core. Belly in tight. So you should have that elongation of your waistline. Your abs should be in really tight. It's easy to kind of let them fall forward when you're on your side. So make sure that you're keeping your abs engaged. One more. You can keep your fingertips to the floor for stability too. Bottom leg stays hovering off the mat. Just got that top leg lift. Lift and lower. Give yourself that resistance or fight gravity as those legs pull back together. Long extension, squeeze to pull. Last one. Scissor one forward, one back. Watch the swing through your pelvis. You want that long extension out. And again, you should feel a lot of oblique work because that's the muscle really working hard to stabilize your pelvis. And last one. Right, bottom leg stays to the mat, take your top leg up. Toes can go forward or externally rotate if you feel better in your hip. Point or flex the bottom foot wherever you feel like you get into that inner thigh a little bit more. Squeeze to lift, just make sure you don't roll back again into your pelvis, you gotta stay forward on that hip. So again, a lot of oblique work to keep the control, a lot of inner thigh, your TA or your transverse abductus is the one that's doing that zipping up or that closing down. One more. Right, bottom leg stays to the mat. Take your top leg out. 
flex your foot forward and you're gonna pulse for two. Then you're gonna pull back in line with your hip. So if you think, punt your football, pull back in line with your hip. Again, everything from the waist up stays still. So you gotta watch that swing to flip your leg forward and to pull back. So it should just be an extension of your hip if you think of wrapping your leg around a big pole. Reach around the pole, pull back with your abs. Rain is crazy outside. One more. All right, flex your feet in little circles. It should get into that outer part of your hip, inner thigh, outer hip. You feel like you're like wiggling through the top, you got your circle too big. Three, two, and one, reverse it. Three, two, good, and one. All right, big circle, still keeping that stabilization. Your leg doesn't get behind you. Reach it forward, but don't swing it. Find that extension to lift up and pull it down. Lift, circle, pull. So your outer glute should be getting pretty tired. You should start to feel it back there. One more. And then you've got your reverse. Take it up, fire your hamstring, point back if you feel better to get into that hip, into that hamstring. And then watch the movement through the upper body. So don't make your circle so big that you don't have the control in your waistline. <laughs> Last one. All right, bring your knees in fetal position. Your heels are together. Try to line your knee up with your hip. It's gonna open and close. If you think of it like a clamshell, you wanna open up at that hip and get that hip opening as much as you can and then close it down. So open and close. Open and close. Two. Okay, one more. All right, just stack your hips. Bring yourself up so you're kind of stacked into your mermaid. Just a big inhale, big side stretch. If you're tight in your waistline, you should feel that long extension. Try to get your arm over by your ear. All right, we're going back to the other side. Reach and push that rib cage away from you. Full extension right over your ear. And inhale, bring it up. Switch the sides. Think long like a ballerina. All right, just take your hands, you're gonna walk yourself back, so find that little bit of rotation, release that lower back. All right, swing your legs, switch sides. And I have to remember what I did on the other side. All right, long extension, remember you cradle your head if you want, stack those hips, try to get that mouse hole or that rib cage to lift up so that you have to work harder. Both legs are gonna squeeze and lift together and then lower it down. Try to make yourself as long as you can. You can keep your hand on your hip or you can keep your hands to the floor if you need that stability. And one more. Okay, bottom legs hovering off the mat. Lift and lower, squeeze and pull. Fire those inner thighs. Three. Two, really fight gravity as you squeeze those under thighs. Last one, into scissors. Find your stabi stabilization and your stability. Really deepen those abs, belly to the spine. Long extension, you want inner thighs really close. They're gonna brush right beside each other. Good. Watch that swing though. So you want that stability in your core. Last one. All right, bottom leg stays down. Top leg comes up, remember forward or open up at the hip wherever you feel better. Point or flex to get into that inner thigh. Squeeze and lift. Okay, remember your abs. Don't let them go. Really fight to get that inner thigh and pelvic floor and a lot of that rib cage to lift that leg up off the mat. Yes. One more. Top leg out, little circles right by your ankle. Inner thigh, outer hip. Again, small control movements. Watch the middle section, trying to take over and swing through it. Two and one, reverse. <clears throat> Three, two, and one. You've got your big circle. Remember, watch that movement through the pelvis. It's just an extension. You don't want your midsection to rock through it. Check your bellies. If you need to stick your finger there to make sure that you're staying engaged, put your hands in your 
finger in your belly button. One more. Good. And then find that reverse again. You're going to reach it up. Remember, fire your hamstring. Reach it back. Try to get out of that upper part of the body. So watch your circle. There's always a strong side, weak side. So one side's always easier. One more. Right, remember, you're going to flex for two on that pulse. Point back in line with your hip. Flex, flex, squeeze the pull back. Belly stays engaged. Don't get behind you or you're gonna pop back and forth in the pelvis. You want that extension out of the hamstring, out of the core, one more. All right, bring your knees in, fetal position. Remember, you got that open and close. You want all that hip opening, so try to get as open as you can. Fight that resistance as you pull back together. Squeeze the pull, open and close. And one more. Yep. All right, you have your stacking of your hips again. Just bring yourself up into your mermaids. Remember, you're going the opposite way of what you did. First time, you want that long extension to get that stretch out of that waistline. And inhale, bring it up. Switch and push through that palm. So you should feel your rib cage reach kind of out and away. And one more time, switch into the other side. Long extension out of your rib cage, out of that waistline. And then we're just going to walk your hands, find that rotation back. And all right, bring yourself forward, and then you're just going to roll back to the mat. We'll finish off with 100 and then stretch it out. Save them the hardest for last. <laughs> all right, arms overhead. Deep inhale, you can extend your legs, you can open for five, pull them in for five if you want, whatever works best for you. Just make sure that tailbone stays to the mat. Deep breath in, round it up, legs extend out, you're into your hundred. Go where you're comfortable, go where you stay engaged in the belly. Abs in tight, inhale, exhale. Stay lifted in the chest if you can, keep flattening, chin to the chest, eyes to the belly button. Use your breath, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last 10, five, four, three, two, good, and one. Bring those knees into the chest as tight as you can. You can bring your head up to release your lower back a little bit or keep your head back and you can kind of rock a little bit back and forth to try to release any extra tension that you have. Take your left ankle, cross it over your right knee. Pull in as deep to the chest as you can. So if you're tight in those outer glutes and that outer hip, you're gonna feel that pull. If you need a little bit more opening, you can push on that knee away from you. Just be careful on your pull or your push. Switch in sides, right ankle over your left knee. Pull it in deep first. Try to get all that outer hip stretch. And then if you want to open up at that hip, you can just push it open. And, right, knees drop to one side again, arms the other. You should be able to get a lot more rotation than when you started off. And then switch. All right, bring those heels to the mat and then just round yourself up. So you're sitting. And we're just going to take one big deep inhale over your head. Big breath in. Exhale, blow it out. That's class, guys.